All right, so you're gonna wanna check this out. So this is the Asus ZenBook Dual 2024, what might be the most versatile laptop, period. Hi everyone, Ta here. Huge thanks to Azus Canada and Intel for partnering with me on this video and for letting me check out this guy. So when I first unboxed this, I didn't know what to expect because I've never really used anything like this before. It looks like a typical laptop when you first pull it out of the box, but the moment you lift off the nicely wrapped keyboard, you know you're dealing with something different here. Right away, you're looking at two, yes two, 14 inch OLED displays. They are good looking displays too. We're talking 16 by 10, 120 Hertz, 500 nits, touch enabled panels with up to a 3K resolution. Now, coming back to that detachable keyboard, it's actually what makes this whole concept work. It magnetically docks right on top of the bottom display and connects via these pogo pins, which also keeps the keyboard charged by the way. The magnets are pretty strong. You kind of just place it on there and it'll snap into place. You don't have to worry about the keyboard sliding around on you either because they've included these grooves on either corner to keep it locked in place. Once it's on, the lower display is automatically disabled and you get that traditional clamshell laptop experience. Sure, you could use it like this. It is a laptop after all, but this is all about versatility. If you flip it over, you'll find an integrated kickstand that enables you to put the laptop into what they're calling dual screen mode. Once you pull the keyboard off, it instantly switches from that Pogo connection to a Bluetooth one. The second display automatically turns on and you end up with this stacked dual screen layout. The keyboard transition between the Pogo and Bluetooth connection is surprisingly seamless. So for example, here I am typing with a dot. I'll pull it off, wait a few seconds for Windows to enable the second display. And just like that, I am back to typing. Now I'll pop it back on, wait for Windows to do its thing, and we're back to that traditional laptop experience. Now, if you're worried about the wireless connection, don't be, it's like super, super solid. Just check out how responsive the trackpad is. There's essentially zero latency that I can tell. But yeah, if you wanted to, you could also plug the keyboard in directly and now you've got a wired connection. Oh, and because it's always charging when it's docked via the pogo pins, I've never had the keyboard run out of battery on me, but you do have the option for USB charging too, if needed. The keyboard itself is backlit with three levels of brightness. You've got full-size keys, 1.4 millimeter of key travel, and it's not overly loud. So overall, for how thin this is, it's a nice and comfortable typing experience. You do also have the option for a virtual keyboard and trackpad. It'll get the job done in a pinch if you happen to leave your keyboard at home, for example. You can even complement that virtual keyboard with a variety of other useful virtual inputs like a numpad or quick key shortcuts. Now for me, the dual screen mode with the Bluetooth keyboard right here is where it's at. Obviously having a second display for multitasking and productivity speaks for itself. Most of us, if given the choice, would want a second display, but what I really appreciate is how much more comfortable it is to get work done on here compared to a traditional laptop. Like you're not cranking your neck looking down at a laptop screen because this elevates the main display to eye level. Same idea with the webcam, it's at a much more flattering angle. I can also position the keyboard wherever I want. That's huge. Heck, you can even put it on your lap and use it like this, which I found to be very comfortable, whether it be at the desk or lounging around on the couch. Something else I've grown to appreciate is the touchscreen. I normally really don't care for touchscreens on laptops because Reaching up and using them is always kind of, you know, awkward. With this setup, the second display being down here feels so much more natural to interact with using your fingers. Now, in terms of stability, this ain't some flimsy kickstand either. It's made completely out of metal and is adjustable between a 40 and 70 degree tilt, so you've got some flexibility in terms of how you want each screen angled. There's also a rubber strip that runs along the bottom of the kickstand and a couple of rubber feet on the front edge here. Together, it gives the whole thing a lot of grip and stability. Like, it's not that easy to knock this thing over. It's pretty solid. You're gonna have to like, if you really wanna knock it down. The kickstand is also slightly angled on the corners because you can actually rotate the entire thing and now you've got dual portrait displays. The official name for this is desktop mode. 
Regardless of which mode you prefer, just imagine walking into the office, library, coffee shop, or wherever you get work done, and having a dual screen setup like this, ready to go in seconds. You gotta admit, that's pretty neat. And then when you're all done working, it packs up as quickly as that. So a lot of companies will promote portability, but then send you this massive charger brick to look around. Well, check this out. This is the 65 watt charging brick that comes bundled with this laptop. I almost didn't believe it. I kept looking through the boxes for the brick, but yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. This is it. Screen Expert is helpful software that comes bundled with the ZenBook Dual. It gives you quick access to a variety of screen management settings. So for example, you can adjust the brightness of each display individually or together. Quickly swap the contents on both screens, which I use all the time. There's also the option to disable the second display completely if you're not using it and want to save some battery. In here is also where you'll find a couple of useful work slash business features. Task groups will basically capture your exact app window layout and the next time you need it, it's a couple clicks away. Sharing mode is for those situations where you're sitting across from someone and want to share exactly what's on your screen. Or you can let them watch a video while you browse the web and look through your notes. Under the hood, the ZenBook Dual is powered with up to an Intel Core Ultra 9 processor featuring integrated ARC graphics and a dedicated NPU for AI-related tasks. It supports up to 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. Those are some beefy specs and should be plenty of power for an on-the-go productivity Ultrabook like this. In terms of ports, there are two ultra fast Thunderbolt 4 ports, a single USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A port, a full size HDMI 2.1 port, and an audio jack. All right, so the biggest takeaway for me with the ZenBook Dual is that the experience is so much better than I expected. Going into testing a unique form factor like this, I'll be honest, I was kind of skeptical. I've tested a lot of interesting new tech on the channel that often felt unfinished or just janky to use, but yeah, this surprised me with how polished and mainstream ready it is. There's no awkward learning phase where you have to get used to physically setting it up or messing with the software to make it work properly. It just sort of makes sense. If you're looking for a versatile laptop, I don't think it gets much more practical than this. Going from a laptop to a dual screen desktop setup in a matter of seconds is kind of wild. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here. Bye.